Those mission boards aren't going to clear themselves. Very. You'll get a location with the target goods. We don't care how you get it, as long as you deliver. You get caught, that's on you. Until next time.
definitely know your way around a lot. before we wrap up. Fine. Go ahead. When is enough going to be enough? How many credits does Jasper Cricks need until he's satisfied? I should have expected you to ask such a stupid question. How the hell could you ever understand? You with your fancy education and your sheltered upbringing and your cushy media job? Me? I came from nothing. Everything I own, I've literally drawn blood to gain. There's no need to get personal. I'm simply trying to state the facts so that our listeners can make judgments of their own. Lady, I got news for you. Half of your listeners think I'm a hero. The other half are scared out of their goddamn minds. And they should be. Perhaps we should talk about something else. No. That's it. We're done. Can you guys get her the hell out of here? Make sure she takes all this sound equipment with her. Well, that's it then. Thank you for your... Actually, before you go, Gail, there's one more thing I would like to say. Yes, of course. Uh, what is it? When you broadcast this interview on SSNN, I want you to remember that I'll be listening. If you edit even one word or manipulate my voice to change anything I've said, I will hunt you down and kill you. In front of everyone. Do you understand? I, uh... I understand. You have my word. Now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. You and everyone else on this station. Keep following orders and you'll get paid. It's as simple as that. All right. Let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Hey! If you've got a problem, I can decorate that wall behind you with your brains. Room could use a little color if you ask me. It's all right, neighbor. I admire this Rook's backbone. Takes a lot of guts to crack jokes with the threat of death staring them in the face. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. 
Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Of course. Where else could I find such a perfect location to weed out any rooks who'd be wasting the fleet's time? Through a bit of luck and a hell of a lot of cash, Neva was able to get her hands on an access code to the inside of the lock. This will be the first time someone from the Grinson fleet has set foot in there for... Well, since Griggs left the place behind. It has been frustrating being this close to potential clues, but not being able to find a way through those prison walls. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, We'll first need a lead, and I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording, and not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, I suppose. What did you want to know? There is no deal. You and Mathis are two sides of the same coin. A couple of Rooks fighting for a spot in the fleet. Only problem is that he is down a ship, and you are not, which puts you ahead. Just barely. Who knows? Maybe he'll get lucky, and you won't make it off sewer off in one piece. It's cold. Bitter cold. Just about the last place you would want to find yourself without heat. The few living things that can survive the extreme temperatures are constantly fighting to stay at the top of the food chain. The Crimson Fleet called Suvorov the White Hell. To me, it's paradise. Someone up here pisses me off enough, I send them down to the surface for a little overnight visit. Snaps them right back into line. The UC built the lock as a supermax prison a little under... Well, it must have been at least a hundred years ago. Before that, those Concha Jesus Madres marooned prisoners on the planet's surface and left them to their own devices. As you can imagine, this turned into some kind of... demanded survival of the fittest. Prisoners killing each other for a chance at the meager supplies. Luckily, some whistleblowers back in New Atlantis saw this as cruel and unusual punishment and pressured the UC into building the facility. Five years after the prison was completed, Crix touched off the riots that overran the lock and eventually the key. Nobody knows exactly what went down. I mean, there's all sorts of rumors. Griggs was in prison for almost five years, and judging from the look of the facility, every moment must have been miserable. 
I suppose he just got fed up and decided to take matters into his own hands. Got the prisoners behind them and kept pushing until he reached the key. The cojones on that guy. You see his toughest supermax prison and he just waltzed the hell out of there like it was nothing. I would love to have been a part of that. Fine, then get moving. Thank you. 
Samina can do more than patch you up. She's got a drugs of every kind, if you know what I mean. do a job unprepared. You need supplies, you hit up the depot. Need a drink? Bug at the last novel. We'll be more than happy to take your credit. Been hearing some stuff about the Mantis being back. If I ever find that bastard, the things I do to them. <laughs> Delgado needed you on the planet. Why are you talking to me? Is this important? Because I'm pretty sure you've been given orders. Let's put it this way. I know Delgado needs something to give rooks like you some confidence. But let's get real for a second. Do you really think Cricks could hide that much wealth and keep it hidden from the rest of us for over a hundred years? No way. Secrets last as long as supernovas around here. No one can keep their mouth shut unless someone shuts it for them. Nah, <laughs> it's all a bunch of bullshit. Look, I'm not trying to bust Dell's balls. He's not the first to go looking for that fairy tale, and I'm damn sure he's not gonna be the last. Mathis is a real piece of work. Adler shoveled him onto us about a week before you turned up. One of the greediest rooks I've seen come through the key in a long time. Dumb as a bag of spanners, too. Do you know he had the guts to ask Delgado for jump fuel compensation after being asked to fly out here? He didn't get it, but damn. If you want my advice, save everyone the trouble and make sure he doesn't come back from your little planetary excursion on Suvorov. Stay sharp, Rook. Were my instructions unclear? What do you want? Don't you have business on Suvorov? What the future holds for the Crimson Fleet? <sighs> changes are coming, Gale. Huge changes. The Crimson Fleet will soon be a much bigger player in this little game between the members of the settled systems. That's quite
quite a bold statement. Would you care to elaborate? Well, let's just say that I'm on the brink of a score so large, it makes everything else pale in comparison. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> if you aren't willing to discuss the details, why grant SSNN this interview? Simple. I refuse to allow the UC to spin or bury the story, making it sound like they're in complete control of the situation. I'm gonna tell you right now, they aren't. Why does the Crimson Fleet need to make this mysterious move that you're being so evasive about? <laughs> I know Sysdef instructed you to draw this meeting out as long as possible. So let me sum this up. I intend to make sure that the Crimson Fleet becomes the United Colony's worst nightmare. And nothing, I mean nothing in this universe, will stop me from achieving that goal. There are those that would disagree with you and claim this interview is grandstanding, or worse, a recruitment tool. After all, SSNN reaches every corner of the settled systems, and your aspirations could inspire the Directionalists to turn to the fleet. You and the sheep that listen to your garbage can believe whatever the hell you want. If you were so worried about what I had to say, you wouldn't have allowed yourself to be brought here. Buying myself a drink. I don't trust shielding. I got secret compartments on my ship just in case. Send me on my way. 
They obviously didn't think that I'd amount to anything and didn't want to waste their time with rehabilitation. What changed that? Was it the robbery in 2218? 2218? Hmm. Oh, yeah. The Galbank Archives. Very good, Gail. I see you've done your research. That would be when I rounded up a few of my buddies and we knocked the place over. Made off with a ton of credits. <sighs> my first big score. Is that why the Crimson Scar decided to bring you into their ranks? That's right. They brought me in, taught me the ropes, and I did crimes for them for... Oh, five years. Till I decided I wanted more. I got rid of their leader, put myself in his place, and started running the show. I've been the one in charge ever since. Was it absolutely necessary to cut his throat and leave the body on a public street in the well? On the street, reputation is everything. I wanted everyone in the city to know that Jasper Cricks was taken over. I think they got the message. I always thought heat leeches were just pests. Never considered trying to raise one as a pet. Imagine having your own terror morph. What are you looking at? Every captain here has earned their stripes, bleeding for the fleet.
complete, you either put up, shut up, or die. Your choice. some stuff about the mantis being back. If you got any spare creds, we just need to unload some junk. Head to the depot. Uh, yes. Hey, Cap, are you hiring? Got some baddies on my tail, and I need a place to lay low. Nah, no hard feelings. Life's tough enough without taking on someone else's enemies. I'll be around if you change your tune. reinforcing our position there, making it nearly impossible to approach. What was the UC's response to the situation? First of all, UC security gave up and handed the reins over to the big guns, the UC Navy. The Navy, in turn, sent ships to attack the Key. I'd say there have been three major attacks over the last few years. And as you can tell by the fact we're having this interview, all the attacks were embarrassing failures. 
Do you feel these embarrassing failures led them to form UC systems? <laughs> Absolutely. They've clearly given up and decided to shove the responsibility onto a separate division. That way, in the public eye, the UC Navy can move forward proud and strong, while UC SysDef continually takes all the blame. It's all about PR spin for them, Gail. That's how the UC operates. Kind of disgusting, don't you think? Hmm. Sounds a bit like you're trying to deflect attention off the atrocities the Crimson Fleet commits on a daily basis. Atrocities, huh? How about fighting the Freestar Collective over a bunch of rocks hanging in space? How about thousands of people dying while a bunch of pencil-pushing bastards sit in a cushy office and draw lines on a star map? Maybe the United Colonies should stop the bullshit and take a hard look in the mirror to see who the monsters really are. to explode that bomb in Shinya's chest. What kind of name is Sis Death anyway? Get you a drink? Smuggling beats a real job any day. I was wondering when you'd wander my way. The name's Fergus. Fergus Wickham. But you could call me Bog. Welcome to the Last Nova, where the drinks are never free. As long as you're buying, stay as long as you like. The Last Nova never sleeps, so no last call here. Since it's your first time with us, I'm willing to make an exception to the rule and offer you my speciality on the house. One free bottle of Bog's Grog. The good ones always are, mate. And if you like it, you're in luck. Cheapest drink you can find and guaranteed to drown those sorrows. Now that's a trade secret, mate, and a homegrown one at that. But nothing to worry about. I've been serving it up going on 20 years now. Only things that kill my customers are bullets and stupidity. Last Nova never closes, so come back any time. what you'd expect. Cheap, fast, great. You'd have a winter take a look at this kind of thing. Recoils off. Got me? 
mixed feelings about my last job. On the one hand, lost the Well. Look at the state of this place. It's amazing the key is still in one piece. Isla's sister is some hardcore mercenary. I wouldn't get Kinetics, on her bad side. Electromax, energy weapons. Nothing's a substitute for a shotgun blast in the face. Get lost. I'm trying to get ready for the job. You I don't know about you, say. but I think the welcome sign really lends itself to the alluring charm of this star station. Ship services? You need it, I've got it. Looks like we got ourselves a new rook. Once again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up. As long as your credits are good. You out your damn mind. Last rook that tried that lost two fingers. Guy before her? Neva's the only one who calls me that, amongst other things. To you and everyone else, it's just plain old Jazz. Well, it did when I first got here. Most of these folks aren't too keen on maintenance. Today, the key's about as safe as any other UC station. Just with a hell of a lot more personality. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. 
We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled. We sell it all. No questions asked. No, 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 no. You buy from me, you're worry-free. I can't have my customers getting caught now, can I? <laughs> That's bad for business. Anything that keeps the UC and Freestar Rangers off your tail is a must-have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. Neva's mine, so don't be getting any ideas. She may be a little rough around the edges, but she's just looking out for her own. There's no one better to have your back. No, but just remember, I don't work for free. I bet you would. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's take a look. You've got stuff to... Sure. It's not like I'm busy keeping this rust bucket of a... I've got plenty of goodies to choose from. It's hard to find. I probably got it. Need some Every time I see Radley smile, I want to punch him in the face. First time visiting the infirmary, huh? Let me give you a piece of advice. Try not to get into too many bar fights. I'm trying to save my dwindling supplies for sale and pirates coming in off of raids.
<laughs> That's what they all say, until they stumble in bleeding out on my floor. So here's what's what. You need med packs, curatives, preventatives, I've got you covered. At least as long as my current supply holds out. You need enhancers, legal or illegal? I've got those too. Hopefully, that won't be often. Now, if you don't need anything else, I've got a particularly annoying supply issue to deal with. Now, there's an offer I didn't expect. If you really want to help, I'm looking for someone who can handle themselves in a public setting. As in someone who knows how to get the job done without shooting up the place. Well, you'd be one of the first. I politely requested a list of supplies from Gennady Aton at the clinic and was told the price of business has gone up. I think he's back on Aurora and he's upcharging me to pay for it. And if there's one thing I'm not going to do is subsidize his habit. I want you to make sure he delivers my supplies for the price we agreed on, but without raising any alarms. We'll see. Talk is one thing, actions are another. A bullshit one, yeah. Gennady claims prices have gone up for the clinic as a whole, and that I'm not the only doc being hit. He says if I want cheaper goods, I'm going to have to find another supplier. He even gave me a list. But I'm not turning to some third-rate doc selling meds out of their space truck. Gennady and I had a deal, and I want him to honor it. You'd think most of the injuries I treat are from run-ins with security or civilians taking a stand. But I'd say at least half are just life on the key. Brawls, egos, and plain old stupidity. At least it keeps me busy. Be careful. I don't have endless supplies, you know. Sharks are too scared to take the key. Because it ain't no fun, like a rabbit got the gun. You might find a deal or two here. If you can overlook the spatters of blood covering all the stolen goods, <laughs> of course. There was a good reason that was locked. So, tell us about Jasper Crix's version of the Crimson Scar. All I can tell you is that under my guidance, the Crimson Scar became more influential than every other syndicate combined. Here I was, 22 years old, and I had power. People that followed my orders and an endless stream of credits. Gail, I have to tell you, I was having the time of my life. So you consider extortion, robbery, burglary, kidnapping, assault, and murder to be positive life influences? No. I'd consider them as just means to an end. Those so-called crimes were merely stepping stones until I had enough wealth to buy the Crimson Scar a few spacecraft. Yes, let's talk about that. It appears you weren't satisfied with terrorizing New Atlantis alone. Oh, I've never stopped reaching, Gail. The amount of money we were making in New Atlantis was decent, but the really big scores were in space on the cargo ships. We're talking millions of credits, maybe more. Who the hell could count it all? 
Most people assume this is when the UC decided to actively set up a task force to pursue the Crimson Scar. That's correct. Those idiots in charge of the United Colonies were clearly embarrassed that they had allowed the Crimson Scar to make the jump into space. They sent ships after us. Lots of ships. I almost think that they enjoy starting wars. Perhaps this was the first time you had finally reached too far. You could say that. I count my time running the Crimson Scar as a learning experience. I wouldn't say I reached too far. I'd say I reached too fast. Didn't cover all my bases, made some stupid mistakes. One thing's for certain, though. When I was finally arrested and thrown into the lock, I had plenty to think about. Isla's sister is some hardcore mercenary. I wouldn't get on her bad side.
smuggling beats a real job any day. Weapons for all occasions. I got so zoned, I forgot. Don't steal from your own. Not unless you want the whole station on your ass. Carrying enough clutter there, or should we find some more? You have something for me? What'll it be, friend? Buying? Selling? The Trade Authority takes anything and everything. Where do you think most of our goods come from? Business on the key is like no other. It's the sole reason I'm here. For the credits. There are a few who share that sentiment. You'd think a successful business relationship would change their minds, but... A few will always see me as an outsider. Regardless, as long as the fleet has goods to push, the Trade Authority will always maintain a presence on the key. I left a similar lifestyle behind when I joined the Trade Authority. I never looked back. A lot of the rooks here see freedom and lawlessness, but that's only if you don't get caught. True freedom is not having a bounty on your head, with every cop and mercenary out to get you. I hope you're not low on credits.
Your credits are always good at the Trade Authority. Don't even try to rip me off. I know value when I see it. I hope you came with credits. Hey, I'm always ready to take credits off your hands. Don't be a stranger. I hope you actually need components. I hate wasting my time. Please tell me you know exactly what materials you need. Just make it quick. Whatever. Weapons, ammo, mods, whatever you need. Well, well. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. Take a look around, genius. And don't tell me you've never laid eyes on a gun before. But just in case I need to spell it out for you, the merch I carry is known as weapons and ammunition. Get it? Hey, if you want to pour credits into my pocket, you won't hear any arguments from me. I carry most of the standard hardware. You know, kinetics, electromags, energy. Even a few explosives. Occasionally, I stock a few... smuggled items. Basically the stuff Sysdev doesn't want you to play with. Just don't screw me over or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. With your head as the target. Not being intimidated by me is one thing. The fleet? <laughs> That's another. A little advice, Sadiqui? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. You bleed for the fleet, the fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. <laughs> Don't say I never did you any favor. I bet I have something that will catch your eye. Done here? Fine by me. Captains handle most of the patrols. We've earned that trust. Ask a jazz about any ship upgrades. Nothing worse than a pirate ship with no personality. <laughs> Price is too high when it comes to protection, right? 
The right protective gear can make all the difference. The right gear would be the difference between life or death. you need me. Yeah? 25 credit system. Are you looking to start something? Because all is finished. Think so? Maybe you should have a talk with Neva. Last time I complained to Neva, I ended up... A slow ship will get you caught. Talk to Jazz. Rook. Hello, everyone. I'm Gail Dunnigan of SSNN, and this is Galactalk. My guest tonight is one of the most notorious criminals in the settled systems. His ruthlessness and desire for wealth has landed him squarely at the top of the wanted list for every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. I am, of course, speaking of the self-appointed leader of the Crimson Fleet himself, Jasper Crix. Good evening, Mr. Crix. Good evening, Gail. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then Graf jumped to what appears to be an abandoned mining facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. Well, I'm sure you're not surprised that your request for an interview would come with some very specific conditions. Frankly, I was a bit surprised to receive any type of response at all. Would you mind telling me why you decided to do this interview? Because there comes a time in every pirate's life where they have to make an extremely important decision. Do they take a leap and become one of the most legendary pirates in history? Or do they simply sputter on, subsisting on freighters and deep space privateers? So are we to assume that you are taking the leap? That Jasper Crix is moving on to bigger and better things in his life? That's spot on, Gail. That's exactly why you're here. Interesting. Well then, would you mind sharing with us exactly what your particular leap entails? In due time. There's no rush. In fact, I'd say we have at least 12 hours before the authorities trace this broadcast. Plenty of time to discuss whatever you like. Oh. <laughs> All right then. Perhaps the best place to start this interview would be at the beginning of your career. Please, proceed. You see Sis Def as a joke. They haven't caught us yet. I hope Bug has something strong enough to knock me out. Looking to start something? Cause I'll finish it. Nothing like the smell of a dead shark after you cook it with an energy. And you, Captain? To Venus? So long.
Station restored. Is there something I can help you with? You look a bit lost. Damn. You're fleet, aren't you? Oh, I should have known she'd send someone. Look, the price of goods here has gone up. Doubled. Tripled, even. Did she not even consider a cheaper supplier? She really should. Samina told you about that, huh? Well, I get why she'd think that, but that's not it at all. I was trying to nudge her into ending our partnership, using the only language the fleet knows. Creds. It's just, I hear about people getting treated or dying all the time due to run-ins with the fleet. How does it all shake out in the end, I don't know. Either way, it seems like I end up with lives on my conscience. Yeah? Advice from the fleet? I doubt it. Hey, I've been clean for years, and I have a good reputation here on the clinic. It'd be my words against hers. At this point, it takes some serious evidence for anyone to believe her. I never thought about it that way. The less people have to deal with the fleet, <laughs> the better. I think you've convinced me. Still, I can't believe I made a deal with the Crimson Fleet. I've stashed the supplies in the storage closet just around the hall. Here's the key. Just try not to let anyone see you. I want to keep this as under the radar as possible. Running this facility is a challenge, even when there isn't an outbreak of some sort. imagine suffering from something no one understands. It must be terribly frightening for them. Saw your ship come in. Nice ride. Oh! Okay. Now I've seen them. It's good to be back on board.
want something. If Gennady doesn't come through with those supplies, we're screwed. At least until Shinya pinpoints a shipment. Tell me you've got those supplies from Gennady. I'm on the last of my medpacks here. Everything's accounted for. No damage. I'm impressed. I might have to make this a regular thing. At least it's one way to get guaranteed supplies. I only need to determine Gennady's limits. I'd hate to break him. Ha! <laughs> I need love every minute of it, right? Well, I'll arrange your payment so you can get out of here. I appreciate the help. The supplies are going to save a lot of lives over the next few months. Be careful. I don't have endless supplies, you know. your hand scanner. I bet you'll find plenty here to catalog. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. Yeah? We will see. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. If that was supposed to be a joke, I am not laughing. Don't worry about laughing, Delgado. It'll be a goddamn laugh riot when I split open his head with a crowbar. All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice bar without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep talking, wise ass. Throttle it down, both of you, right now. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. Oh, very nice. I'll just remain here and soak in the planet's lovely winter-like atmosphere until I go hypothermic. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving.
from me. Gone. This better be important. We still have to get inside the lock. Only one point of Moera's patrol route to work from. That's how it goes sometimes. Make it quick. Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The Lock. Around five years. Rumor says he started planning his escape the moment that he arrived. Yeah, he needs to get this thing open like right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go. Good work. First time I have been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Pull it out. If it's hostile,
Must be a nest. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already! I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? This is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it, we're on our own now. Why? Because that's what his loyal little soldiers are supposed to do? The hell with that. I have a better plan. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. Oh, come on. We're just a couple of rooks. When are we ever gonna have a chance like this again? Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Now, let's find a way out of here. I swear I'll never add ice to drink ever again.
here I thought we were going to be doing something fun, like rob a bank or something. I do to make money. I must be crazy.
Attention. Lockdown mode has been rescinded. After action report, Guard Bryant reporting. The Shuttle Bay techs were complaining about hearing some type of banging or scraping on the access doors, so we were sent to investigate. We headed to the surface and immediately engaged some indigenous creatures that had been burrowing through the ice. We managed to drive them off, but I'm certain they'll be back. Fortunately, our squad only suffered minor injuries. <sighs> First we deal with all the maintenance issues at the lock, and now this. If this keeps up, I'm going to request a transfer. If we get out of here, remind me to thank Delgado for hanging us out to dry.
So, have you changed your mind yet? Yeah, right. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Of all the people to get trapped here with, why the hell did I get stuck with you, huh? Fine, have it your way. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. Imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted. I would hate to have been one of the guards. Cell D-03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess.
QC must have burned some serious cash when they lost this place. <laughs> Serves them right. Delgado was right. Cricks must have hit the Galbank transport and stashed away the money or something. But we play this right, and we're gonna be filthy sticking rich again.
believe this is where the fleet started. It's history now. Blows me mind. Holy hell, look at this stuff. Someone was definitely prepping the bust out of this joint. this place out.
Well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. This ought to come in handy. All right, let's keep moving.
look at his dome. <laughs> I can't imagine being stuffed down here to rot. Poor bastards. like this was the warden's office. They built the office right next to the shuttle bay for quick escapes, I'm back. Less talking, more searching, right? I hope you 
found something because I am getting sick and tired of this place. I knew it. Everyone said I was out of my mind, but something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right person for the job. Hey, what the hell? This is bullshit, Delgado. I help plenty. Is that madness? Tell him to shut up. I will deal with him later. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Now all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock. And I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. Yeah, sure, and I wish gold coins would start raining from the sky. Now, if wishing time is over, maybe you'd be kind enough to stop running your mouth and listen for a change. Okay, let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the icing process. Please stand by. Yup. It's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Why the hell did you lie to Delgado about me? You didn't do all this work alone. Hey, come on. I was just looking out for both of us. I could have caught you out of the deal, but I didn't, right? Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Oh, you're gonna be like that, huh? Well, I guess I deserve it. Now, let's get the heck out of here.
I have things for you. To Venus? Yeah, take a look at this. Okay. I can't believe you threw me to the wolves like that. Pisses me off. You looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. some stuff about the mantis being back if i ever find that bastard the thing i hope I you've brought me down. something in i hope you're not low on credits your credits are always good at the trade authority ah uh, if it's hard to find I'm... hey i'm Come back and see me sometime. All right, all right, make it quick. Behold. Kinetic electromagnetic. station on your ass. Done here? Fine by me. you so long it's about time i was about to fly down and loot your bodies not now neighbor well you said you found something hand it over that's it just one slate after losing so much of our crew it better be a map with a big red x on it well i'll be damned Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A gal bank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a gal bank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If gal bank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay. This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search.
Because they would be rolling in so much cash, there is no way they could keep it quiet. It's like hitting a jackpot. Not to mention they'd need someone with Shinya skills to keep the crypto tracing on the currency clean. And as far as Galbank goes, I doubt they would bother. Their bean counters would be too busy weighing the loss versus recovery costs. Now, the legacy is out there. Just waiting for us to find. I can feel it. I'm sure he did not have a choice. People would kill to get a crack at a score this big. I know I have. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Adios mio. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. It's not what you're thinking. It's more of an office than a bank vault. Once you're inside, you'll be able to gain access to one of their computers and find out more about the legacy. Rokoff is... <laughs> well, he's Rokoff. A real pain in the ass. He used to run with the fleet until we kicked him out. Lately, he has been using his long hauling skills to captain a Starliner for Trident. Gives us a contact within the company. He has been trying to get his foot back in the door with us for years. But I'm not ready to let him in just yet. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship. Make contact with Rokov and get me those credentials. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to cut him from the fleet. Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Suvorov in one piece. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Griggs' legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Hell of a job you did down there, Rook. Hell of a job. Shouldn't you be packing for your trip? I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet. 
Because I'm coming after you. Oh, I see. You think you're some kind of big shot, is that it? Gonna show poor Mathis a little mercy now that you're Delgado's best buddy, yeah? Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. And that means you better watch your back. I stayed to give you a message that you better start looking over your shoulder. You'll never know when I'll be right behind you, ready to pull the trigger. Like my colleague said, it was so nice of you to stay and wish us well. Now get the hell out of me way! There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the siren, swiping those gal bait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Unless you plan to walk away empty-handed, she really isn't giving us a choice. Yeah? And who do you think Delgado's gonna back in a dispute? You. Over me. Please. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh meat. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. Hit me up if you got questions. No.